Hello students, myself Dr. Madhuri Shinva, your Dermatology faculty in Cerebellum Academy. In this video, we are going to see this important previous year question from INSCT. So you can see our question says, diabetic patient is presenting with the following lesions which are present in the armpit. So in the axilla, there is a image which is showing some hyperpigmented patch present. And what would be observed during the wood slamp examination of this patient? First of all, you have to know what is this diagnosis. So if you are thinking of erythrasma as a diagnosis, you are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. And this is produced by Corini bacterium minutissima. Cornibacterium minutissimum and it is clinically going to be presenting as brownish skin colored hyperpigmented macules and patches mainly present in the intertrigenous areas most commonly in the axil and also we can see in the groin also. So what will be the symptoms because of this condition? So please remember it is absolutely asymptomatic condition. So now you might be wondering if it is asymptomatic, why is the patient going to come for consultation to a dermatologist? So the main problem here is just imagine a scenario where this patient is sitting in his house, happily reading a newspaper, having some tea and snacks. Then suddenly comes a relative. This relative is coming for the purpose of tea and snacks, but having the tea and snacks he sees this person having some hyperpigmentation in the axilla and he says that oh my god are ye kya hai ye kyu itna kala hai tumhara axilla mein aisa bolega or by this the person who is having this erythrasma is going to feel very much embarrassed though he is not having any symptom he will feel embarrassed and because of this he is going to consult a dermatologist for cosmetic purposes. For cosmetic purposes. Then what do we do? We have to confirm the diagnosis for confirmation. We dermatologists take the help of this wood slam. Which in the case of erythrasma is going to show coral red fluorescence. It is going to show coral red fluorescence. And with the help of this we can diagnose this condition. And we can treat it with the help of topical antibacterials and also azoles topical azoles can also be used to treat this condition okay that was about erythrasma now coming to the rest of the other fluorescence colors which are mentioned what is the diseases in which we can see this so in p versicolor remember pt is versicolor yellow fluorescence will be seen Blue fluorescence is seen in tinea capitis. Tinea capitis. Do remember this. Green fluorescence is seen in the case of pseudomonas infection. It is seen in pseudomonas infection. And in this picture you are able to appreciate the coral red or coral pink fluorescence seen in erythrasma. Okay. So this is the previous air question we have discussed in this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was Please do like it and share it among your friends because sharing is caring. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.